A major product recall tonight for dropside cribs. Hundreds of thousands are being recalled after reports of entrapment, suffocation, and falling hazards. One Beaver Creek woman turned to two to tell us she has one in her home and wonders what to do now. Well, I have grandchildren, and my granddaughter just slept in, Gracie Kay, just slept in this crib yesterday. Kay Benzer says now she has to find Gracie Kay a new place to nap. I probably won't put Gracie back in this, and I'll use a pack and play. Benzer heard about the recall on WDTN's Facebook fan page. I'm a fan of yours on the Facebook page. And I saw it on there, and the minute I saw it, I said, oh, my gosh, that's my crib. And I went to, the, to your article and then noticed that it was a Jenny Lynn, which this is a Jenny Lynn. This dropside crib is made by Evenflow, a company located in Miamisburg. Benzer thought the $200 baby bed stood up to multiple tests with her large family. We have 20 grandchildren, so quite a few kids have slept in this. Not just my grandchildren, but my great-nephews have slept in this bed. Mm -hmm. So it's frightening. And so is this. Right. This makes 9 million cribs being recalled in the last several years. Mary Ann Swank figures cribs made in the last decade probably aren't safe. Cribs that have been manufactured um, anything over 10 years are not safe at all. They don't even meet standards. Even though there have been no problems in 10 years, I don't want to take a chance. I love my grandchildren too much. Now, consumers should immediately stop using the recall to drop side cribs and contact Evenflow to receive a free repair kit that will immobilize the drop side. A repair kit for the mattress support system is also available for cribs with model numbers starting with 012 and 014 that were manufactured between 2000 and 2004. For Turn to Two, I'm Ken Oliphant, two news on your side.